Hi everyone, this is Amy Clements. I'm the Life Groups Pastor here at Lifeway Church, and this is my husband, Ross. Hi everyone. And so we're here um, to uh, celebrate communion. We're so glad you could join us. And I know this isn't the traditional way that we do things, um, but sometimes life circumstances forces us to just be more creative and um, think outside the box. So this is how we need to do communion for now. You know, not, this is not unlike the early church where um, after Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection and even ascension, the early church um, and his followers had to change what they did because of persecution and this and that. So they had to figure out some creative ways too to continue to meet together and, and um, do all that they did. Um, but with that being said, just because this might feel and look different doesn't mean that the idea behind, of commu behind communion is any different. Um, the basis of communion is remembering Jesus' amazing sacrifice on the cross and all that he did for us all those years ago. So this actually really came to light um, in a new and real way for me. In January of, 19, of 2019, I was able to um, uh, have the opportunity to go to Israel and um, while we were there we had the amazing privilege of having a communion service right near at or near where Jesus was crucified now I say at or near because there's a little debate as to exactly where he was crucified there are two different spots that claim to be where this actually happened but each spot is between is just a few miles from each other so we were all thinking like it doesn't matter we are in the zone doesn't matter if you're at the spot or near it we were there so it was quite amazing and we were given these little cups to have communion and I thought I would use it today so it just reminds me of back then when I had communion right at that site so I thank you for that privilege today of using that again so this communion service is open to anyone as long as you have professed your faith in Christ. And if you're not sure that you have, or if you're feeling kind of disconnected from God, all you need to do is just say this prayer with me. Um, God knows your heart, and so just um, if you're not sure and you want to have Jesus in your life and, and to lead your life, then just say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I thank you for being who you are, and I'm sorry that I have gone my own way. My way is not working, and Lord, I know your way is the best. So Lord, I give my life to you right now, Father God, and help me, Lord, to walk in your ways, lead me into the truth and into your works, Lord God. And so today, I give my life to you, and I thank you for new life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. It could be variations on those words. doesn't have to be exactly those, but it's a start. And again, God knows your heart. So 1 Corinthians 11, 28 through 29 says, This is why you should examine yourself before eating and drinking the cup. For if you eat the bread and drink the cup without honoring the body of Christ, you are drinking God's judgment upon yourself. So you're bringing judgment upon yourself if you don't have the right heart when you come to communion. So at this time, we're going to take a few minutes just to examine our hearts and to make sure we're right with God. And if anything comes to mind that you want to confess and let go, you can do so. And also, um, if you haven't gotten your elements, a little piece of bread or cracker, whatever it is, um, and, and your juice, you can do that now too. Um, it doesn't have to be anything special, uh, just whatever you have. So right now we're just going to take a few moments and just, um, just be right before God. Dear Lord, we just ask that you open our hearts, free our minds and our bodies, Lord, from any sinful thoughts or thinful, sinful ways, Lord. Cleanse us, open our minds and our hearts for you to enter in, Lord. I ask all of this in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So 
The scripture says that on the night he was betrayed, Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread and he gave thanks and he broke it and said, take and eat. This is my body, which is given up for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Ross, would you pray over the broken body? Dear Lord, we just thank you for all that you do for us every day. We thank you for taking our sins, taking our burdens, taking our moons and all our things, Lord. Without you, we can't make it throughout the day, Lord. Help us to remember that you're there to help us throughout the day, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let's partake together. In the same manner, Jesus took the cup and said, this is my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It was shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in remembrance of me. Ross, would you pray over the cup? Dear Lord, thank you, Jesus, for shedding your blood, making a path for us to get to heaven, Lord. Just we thank you for all you do. We thank you for this blessing. And we always remember it's about you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let's partake together. For whenever we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of our Lord Jesus Christ until he comes again. Jesus Christ has died, he's risen, and he will come again. Amen? Amen. Well, thank you for joining us in remembering this celebration of the Last Supper as one body because we all came together right now. I mean, if we can't be together personally, we can come together through the video. <laughs> And um, so we love you and we're praying for you. And if any of you out there has any kind of need or someone you know has a need, please feel free to call the church and make an appointment with our pastoral care team. Um, if you don't know the phone number, the phone number is 860-436-9216. Or you can go visit our website at lifewaych.com and there's a bunch of stuff that's going on there. Just take a look around. Um, our services are 9.30 and 11. So we hope to see you online or in person this Sunday. Have a blessed week. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.